This is the next video in our series about the Weebly Drag and Drop Site Builder. To help you learn how to use it, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a real website. This one, actually. It's for a fictional sailing company on the West Coast. In this video, we'll get started by making a home page. The first thing we want to do is decide how we want the website to look. We can choose from lots of different themes in the design tab. There are a lot of fun options, but I think this one looks good. It has a lot of dark blue, which kind of makes sense for a sailing site, right? So, now, with our theme picks, we can start changing up the site to show and say what we want. Let's start by replacing this placeholder image with our own. Click Edit Image and Add Image. We can search a library of free images here, but I have one I want to use on my computer, so I'll just upload it. Move it to where I want it, and click Save. Now let's add our phone number and email so they're easy to see by anyone who visits the website. I'll click on the header image, add text here, I'll make it white to stand out a bit, and I'll put it where I think it looks good. Same thing for the email, but I'll make it a little smaller. Great, that looks good. Now let's change the website title. We could just type something, but I happen to have an image on my computer that I'd like to use. So I'll upload it by clicking Logo. So that'll show up on top of our website no matter what page of the site people visit. OK, now click the Settings tab. Here we can change the title of our site, which I'll do now. And now let's click the Pages button. Here you can add more pages like Products, a Contact Us section, a blog, etc. We'll do this in the next videos. For now, let's just rename the page we're already working on, Home since it's the page we want people to see when they first visit our website. Click Save, and then click Edit Page so that we can get back to making changes. OK, so things are starting to come together, but now we have to add content to the page itself. Let's put a picture and some text in here by dragging the picture with the paragraph element down to where we want it. I'll upload a picture I have on my computer by clicking on the placeholder image. And I've got some text already written that I'll just copy and paste here. I can reformat the text as needed with these tools. Now, some of this text references organizations with websites to which I want to link. So I'll just highlight the words I want and click this little link button. Then I'll add a link to, in this case, the US Sailing website. And this text should link to the American Sailing Association website. And lastly, where I say contact me, I'll highlight these words and add a link to my email address. Perfect. Good. We're getting there. But let's add some more content. I'll put another title here to break things up a bit. And we'll call this next section, What We Offer. Now let's add a bunch more paragraphs with pictures. OK. First I'll add the text, which I've already written on my computer, and I'll format some of it a bit. Then I'll upload the pictures I want to use. And that looks good. Last but not least, I have a sailing quote that I want to put at the bottom. So I'll drag in a paragraph, paste my text, and I want it small, italicized, and centered. Perfect. And that's it. All we have to do is click Publish, and the site goes live. Weebly confirms the site is updated and even gives me a link to the website so I can easily go and check it out. OK, that's it for this video. In the next, we'll add a portfolio page to our site for videos and pictures. See you there.